I took a break. Last week, I took on the monumental task of draining an ocean monument, which was super fun, but also extremely draining. So a break was necessary. Now, of course, it wasn't a strict break. I got on for the important things like bow fights with my neighbors. Very fun and very important. And I also have an elytra now, which was super fun. I did that with Pearl and Impulse and it was a blast. Please have a boat. That don't look like a boat to me. Oh, Please it has a portal <laughs> though. <laughs> that's, that's not a boat. Oh, uh, 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 uh,
Oh, I know! Fireworks! I have them in my inventory! But if we add a fireworks star... Man, so all I'll need is some paper and some gunpowder, and I know that I have gunpowder right here. Oh, I could totally do this! I already have dye as well! There we go. And after crafting up a couple more items, it was time for my murder spree. Tango! Oh, ouch. Death approaches on silent wings. How are you? <laughs> Hello! I'm ready for murder. Okay. Are you all set and prepared? Um, I think so. Yeah? Uh -huh. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. Bye, Tango. Oh, of course. The classic fiery <laughs> death. <laughs> oh, I got a me. Oh, no! Huh? Wait, now you have fire res! Oh, no! Oh, okay, uh... Stand, All right, we'll count, we'll count that one. stand on one. that. Stand on that, okay. I can do that. Thank uh, you. Death by Brickles eventually <laughs> succumbing to the... There it is. Perfect. Oh, the drowning! <laughs> I need to think of that one. Ah, oh, but see, the drowning is taking precious time. It is! Oh, no! I fade away. <laughs> I like that one. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's gotta be done. Yeah. Oh, what about this guy? What's he doing here? <laughs> How's the fire no. is? Gone. Good. Fire is, is it getting hot in here? Is it just me? <laughs> no? A little toasty. Come here. Okay, this coming. Happens. Stand in. Oh, no, you didn't. Thank you. Failure to grow. Wait. Oh, oh, no, it pushed it, you out. It oh, fail. Me out. Oh. Fail. That's okay. Next one. Next one. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was good. Nailed it. And then if you could just stand in this little bush over here. Can't do. <laughs> Go up, 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 up. <laughs> climb, 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 climb. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that I've missed, hasn't there, Ben? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, stand stand in here. Stand in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I don't know if this will like work. It. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it hurts. Oh, Keep so going. close. Keep going. Oh, I didn't creak it up. This one doesn't oh, work. Oh, the roof is too high. So oh, sad. So sad. Ah, oh, there was an oh, attempt. I thought you were a real murderer. I tried. Um, technically, I made this golem. Do you want to punch it? Well, it's a man-made golem. He won't punch me back. That's not how they is work. Is that how that works? Yeah, man-made golems don't defend themselves against what? its own natural spawns. Oh. I'm learning about <laughs> Minecraft. Okay, yeah, that's all I got. The more you know, the more you know. Yep. Uh, I blew up your arena. Yeah, well, that was expected. That was expected. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> all right, shall I review the footage and get a, get a tally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know how I did. Okay. Let me go see. Well, I'll count them up. I'll be right back. All right, Jem. Suspiciously wearing my skull as your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on uh, me. We reviewed the footage and, and, by, and we actually just looked at the chat here because it's all mm -hmm. right there. You can see him. Minus the lava death, which is my fault. So I gave you bonus time. You got 10, which is very ten. respectable. It yeah. was so close to the 12. I mean, the rockets, you had me down to two hearts. The, yeah. the anvil it took a little extra time, but but 10 is good. So 10 come is on good. over here. 10 is very murderous. Yeah, no. I'm still going to die. All right. you got So you get with 10. I mean, you're almost going to get the whole lot anyways. 20 picks. 20, 20 picks? Slots. 20 slots you get to take out of oh here. Boy. So go nuts. I don't even have the inventory. I have all your death in my inventory. Tango was so incredibly generous with this. Not only did he come up with this amazing idea and decide to involve me, he also gave me all of the items afterwards, which was so sweet. If you're not subscribed to Tango already, you should definitely go check out his channel. Ah, there's nothing like a little bit of murder to start off a day. That was fun. So it turns out that I'm not actually that efficient at killing a Tango, but I think I did pretty good for being creative and not using a sword, you know? But now I have a new problem. I have an unwanted guest in my house. I can hear them. Hello? You don't live here. Where did you come from? Excuse me. Did you spawn in here? What the heck? No, 
No, thank you. I'm gonna see if Pearl has a bed I can sleep in. What are you doing? Uh, I saw that. I had to use your bed. My bed? I thought you were gonna say bathroom for a moment there. <laughs> no, your bed. <laughs> ah! Jim! <laughs> Jim! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Pearl, I'm living with you now. I didn't go outside. Do not blow that guy. <laughs> I did. I didn't know what he was saying. Pearl, there's a pillager on my bed. Why is there a pillager on your bed? I don't know. I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> Why would I know? It's all lit properly. <laughs> well, clearly it should be. not. They come in. <laughs> Leave my base area! You're blowing it up! Pearl, I'm sorry! Damn! It's... Why is there so many? Oh. Uh... That was awkward. So, now that I've disturbed Pearl uh, quite enough, maybe it's time to get to work on my own starter base. And in order to do that, we're definitely going to need some dirt. I'd like to turn that into coarse dirt if I can. Oh, I can. Brilliant. So this little area back here is kind of like a blank slate that I could do whatever I want to. And to be honest, I don't need much. But what would be really helpful is a proper pen for my sheep and a nice decorated portal for starters. And also some paths and some lighting for Pearl. It, not me, totally not me. I don't get blown up by creepers, never. That's never happened to me before. Luckily, I have tons of goodies from Tango now, so lots of options to pull from. Oh, and while I have the diamonds, um. Hold on. Totems, two diamonds per totem. This will be life-saving. I'm sure of it. So the first thing I'm going to get to work on is a couple of paths so that I can kind of decide the layout of this little starter area. I feel like that's important and I want to connect up to Pearl properly. Pearl! Pearl your roof, Pearl. But yeah, Pearl's got like a cute little curve going here and I'm just going to kind of branch off of that so that the path can continue along. I feel like this is already a much smoother connection. So now I'm going to go from this and curve it inwards towards the sheep pen, I think. Kind of like this. Okay, this is the plan. Now let's do it. Paths complete. I like it. It makes my starter area look so much more official. As you come through here, you can approach my starter house or you could follow this path to all of the lovely important things. Of course, we do need some more details though. Like trees. I love a tree. When it comes to trees though, I like the method that I use with my starter house because it's fairly simple and easy to repeat. And for a starter area, I think that's pretty important. So let's chop down some oak wood now and get some saplings. So I'm thinking for this next one, we'll do it just over here. And of course, we've once again got to do the trick to hopefully get these to grow as super tall trees. So in order to do that, we just do torches. I think that'll work. It's something like that. Yes! Oh! Okay. I'll admit that one's a bit weird, but we'll keep going. Yes! Oh, it's gonna be beautiful! You know, it's kind of weird. I'll make it work. We trust the process, like always. Speaking of bone meal, actually, I haven't checked the shop in a while. Oh, heck yeah. Look at us go, 20 diamond profit. I'll take it. Bone shop is proving way more successful than I ever thought it'd be. There, last one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we'll work with it. My favorite part of this process is almost like sculpting. You get this really odd looking tree and you get to turn it into something fun. Plus, some simple roots down at the bottom do wonders. I'm not here. I'm, ignore me. See you. I'm not here. Girls, my house, please. No, but nobody's here. Don't Mind my business. Me. Don't worry. Okay, so while our odd looking tree here needs a bit of a haircut and some branches added, it's time for its purpose, which is sheep. The sheep have been living here for a while, and I feel like they deserve their own little treehouse. So this shall be the sheep's treehouse. Basically, I think I want to make just a little kind of support pillar, stables type area, I don't know, something like that. Kind of coming off of it in an abstract way, in a couple of different directions, like maybe another one over here, to kind of look like a stables of sorts. And then we can just have the sheep living in it. Right, now, uh, less talk, more do. Oh my gosh, it's raining. This is my moment. I finally have a trident and a flying device. Watch this, watch this. 
Whoa! No rockets necessary. Oh, this is snow. This It doesn't work in snow. It doesn't work in snow. That's awkward. It's fine. Whoa. Look how high I could get in just the rain. Oh. Oh, I'm really high. Oh, my bad. My bad. We go down. We go down. The world looks so beautiful from up here. Look at Spawn. All the hermits have done such incredible work so far this season. This is truly something. I'm inspired. I don't know about you. Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! Dive! Woo! Oh, I love it. Oh. 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 Okay. Rain gone now. Alright, it's okay. I needed to get back to work anyway. Seriously, though, spawn is something else. I'm starting to get a real feel for how I want this area to look, and it's fantastic. The sheep pen really came together, I think. I like this area, and it's an area for my horse now, too. If I'm honest, just putting down these paths has been pretty much all the motivation that I need. So, the next order of business is the portal, which is sticking out like a sore thumb at this point, because this area is uh, not very purple. So I think what I'm going to do is make like a nice curvy tree sort of coming up right about here. With any luck, it'll be something that's still fairly simple and suits with the starter house theme, but it'll also cover up the portal. I really like this map that was done, but I am going to just move it for now. I also think some wood around it would definitely help the cause as well. There we go. The mission to clean up this area is so far involving a lot of chopping trees. Yeah, so far this is definitely the sort of curve that I'm looking for. I'm also going to knock out this corner, I think, to sort of add to that feel. Just add some slabs instead, so that we get more of a curve. Yeah, I like that. Let me curve that in. Ooh. Definitely going for a very messy sort of look here, and I like it. I feel like working on this starter area has done exactly what I needed it to do in terms of sort of refreshing my motivation once again. After working on a huge project, I kind of tend to feel the pressure of wanting to do that all over again, you know, and keep impressing the audience and keep earning my place as a hermit. But I don't need to do that. Sometimes I feel like I read a few too many comments and I see comments like that where people feel that I need to be doing these huge projects in order to earn my place on this server. And even though I know that that's crazy, it still gets to me sometimes. And I need to take episodes like this to remind myself that it's okay to just relax and build a cute starter area with small details and hang out with friends. That's the fun of Hermitcraft. And of course, that's not to say that I won't build anything mega. I definitely have some mega plans coming up, but it doesn't have to be what I do every single episode. And that has to be okay. That genuinely might be perfect. It's just wonky enough that it fits with the theme. I like it. It's a very natural looking portal now. So now we have a portal and a sheep pen, and kind of all of these sort of plain areas in between. So I think it's time we go around and sort of spruce up the general area and maybe add in even a couple of more trees. Oh, and we also have this bridge over here, which I was gonna make a custom tree for. This is a bridge me and Corrales worked on together to connect our areas. I really like it, and you'll have to check out Corrales' channel to see it being built. So now comes kind of the fun part, where I get to create some cool like items and areas for people coming through to see. And I think one of the things that I want to do is have wheelbarrows on the path like that. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Let's do another one of those right here coming from the portal. I like it. In general, we need a lot more flowers and also some bone meal, of course. Peonies are a must. I'm actually thinking I'd like to steal some inspiration from one of my good friends, Mythical Sausage here. I am always building a lot of custom trees. I love custom trees, but something I noticed Mythical Sausage doing was not clear cutting a forest, which I thought was really clever. Cause on the surface, it's like, why wouldn't you clear cut a forest so that you could build? But if you don't clear cut it, then you get to fill it in with all these wonderful trees. So I'm thinking we can have in an area like this, a big tree like so that we just kind of leave alone. We can customize it a little bit, but it kind of just allows the area to fill in like a forest, like a real forest. 
I honestly feel like this makes a lot of sense, and I don't know why I am constantly in the habit of changing the terrain so much. It really doesn't need it, although that one's a little short. Hold on, I alter it a bit. I think I love it. And of course, I can always come in and customize the bone wheel trees when I get time, but this allows it to look finished right now. I know that what I'm doing here right now is pretty simple, but I hope that it has inspired you even a little bit to allow your areas to grow a little bit. I think this area is flourishing now, and all I've really done is go around with some bone meal. It's such a simple change, but it made all the difference to this area. I feel like I'm immersed in my own little forest in here. It's really beautiful, I think. And with that, everyone, I do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for your patience with me while I took a little break that you might not have even noticed, to be honest, because there's 26 hermits and we've probably put out a lot of content, so it's probably okay. But thank you anyways, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you next episode. Bye, everyone!